Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I thought I would vlog this week, although I have nothing um, in particular happening of interest. I did buy an air fryer, so that's a topic that I really wanna cover. I've been talking about a lot on my Instagram stories, but I figured I would show you some of the things that I'm cooking in it because I am so obsessed with it. I'm so glad I finally pulled the trigger. I was hesitant because I was like, I don't have a lot of space in my house, but I've just left it on my island because I cook with it every single day. So I'm gonna show you a bit of that and it'll be an upcoming What I Eat In A Days as well. Uh, right now I'm getting uh, ready to head out the door. I've been trying to walk more and just get moving because I don't move enough because I work from home and it's very easy to move nowhere. And then I look at my step counter on my phone, albeit it's not the most accurate, but it's like, you walked 400 steps today. I'm like, okay, not acceptable. So I'm gonna head to a bulk barn. I find having like a destination in mind really helps me. So I'll just pick out a place that I need to go to, although I could go to the bulk barn by my apartment. I choose to go to one that's like, you know, four kilometers away so that I get like, a good walk-in. So that's the plan for this morning and then I've got an air fryer recipe in mind for lunch. And then also this week we're waiting to hear back on a cat, which I've wanted a second cat for a long, 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 long time, forever. I've wanted a sphinx cat specifically forever. Then I got Rue, fell in love with her, <laughs> and um, I never wanted a Siamese. I never knew much about them and now I'm in love with Siamese cats. Uh, but she was a retired breeding cat. She was five years old and they had surrendered her. And then I learned that breeding cats have really great temperaments. So I kind of had it in my mind to find this balance of instead of purchasing a Sphinx, cause I'm not particularly interested in kittens. I don't, like they're obviously adorable, but I don't need it to be a kitten. And like I said, Rue was five when I got her and cats like that are less likely to be adopted anyways. So uh, I follow this Sphinx Facebook page here in Ontario and they posted about an eight-year-old Sphinx and her name is Emily and she was actually retired a couple years ago but they held on to her but now I think they're moving or something and they have a ton of cats. So I feel like this is a good in-between of purchasing a cat and adopting a cat in need because um, yeah. Like I, I just, I'm happy to give her a home even though she's older. I have absolutely no problem with that. Apparently she's super sweet, really quiet, the opposite of Rue, um, but loves, loves people as breeding cats tend to, but doesn't love other cats, which neither does Rue. But I feel like maybe they could just be kind of like low energy buds in like my little cat breeding cat retirement home <laughs> is my dream. So they've had a lot of interest in her though because she's like a rare breed and like some kind of crazy pedigree, which I personally don't care about. Um, I do want a Sphinx cat, but I don't care about like her pedigree or anything like that. I'm not bothered by that. Um, so yeah, we're waiting to hear back on that. So that'll be very interesting trying to get them integrated because as you know, Rue is very spoiled and very opinionated. So it won't be easy. And I also leave in a month to go to Newfoundland. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. Oh, I did wanna say, I'm testing out this Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil from NYX. I will do a full review on this upcoming. I'm wearing the shade six and uh, I like it so far. So anyways, I'll report back on that. Gonna hit the road, go to Bulk Barn, buy some fruits and veg, and then I'll come back and we will cook lunch. Let's check these suckers out. You can hear, do you hear that? It makes a bit of noise, but nothing crazy. I flip them. They've been in the in there for about six, six, seven minutes total. So it's so freaking quick. Put coconut on the outside. If you're trying to lose weight or you're doing portion control, measure your coconut. It is very high in calories and fat. I'm gonna put some mango, cilantro, iceberg lettuce. And then I've also got some pico and Greek yogurt as my sour cream. And on the actual shrimp, I put just a little bit of tahini and cornstarch, then I dipped it in egg whites, then I dipped it in the coconut. That was just a recipe I found on Pinterest. I just find everything on Pinterest and I'm gonna put it on these tortillas. So I'm gonna assemble these, I'm pretty pumped. It definitely was a little bit of a laborious lunch to make, but it was something I wanted to try out. And ends up separated from her husband. Time for a real break. Will you bake? Will you bake? Do you want a sister? Do you want a sister? No, mom, I don't. 
So you can see like what I was talking about. Was that in this video? No, I think I was just talking about in my get ready with me. Haru gained weight when she got spayed. She has like a tiny body, tiny head, tiny paws, but then a huge gut. But I love grabbing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just finished filming. I filmed a get ready with me and a favorite masks for acne prone skin. Now I'm going to try and edit a little bit quickly uh, because I have to go to an event in about 40 minutes. It's an SE event that I totally, totally slipped my mind and they've been doing construction and I haven't been able to film and it's been so frustrating because I never, ever, ever like film and edit and then upload the next day. Like it's just not necessary <laughs> um, but I got a little bit behind because of this construction which is driving me crazy so anyways I wanted to say my walk earlier was good I started listening to a podcast called over my dead body it's good I don't know I just started it but what I wanted to say was I finished up and vanished a little while back probably my favorite podcast ever it's like investigative style and then I finished uh, To Live and Die in LA, which is really similar. So if you like like people getting in other people's business and like real interviews and like real impact, those are really, really good. Uh, and then I listened to Accused, which I thought was okay. And then also today I listened to Canadian True Crime, which is one of my faves. So yeah, that's what's up in the world of true crime podcasts. But yeah, I'm gonna try and edit a little bit quickly and then head to that event. You can probably hear the air fryer going in the back. It's a busy air fryer. What? What were you gonna say? It's oh. hilarious. Okay, so I made a stuffed chicken breast. I've been doing this a lot, but I kind of simplified it tonight. You'll see to know what I eat in a day upcoming, and I do like flour, then egg whites, then breadcrumbs, back in egg whites, back in breadcrumbs. And it's just such a huge process and takes so much time and uses so much cutlery. So in my what I eat in a day, I did like mozzarella, ch um, spinach, garlic, and cream cheese. This one is cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and a little buffalo. So it's kind of like a buffalo cheddar stuffed chicken breast. And I only just coated it in breadcrumbs. No flour, no egg whites. Super simple. And it still came out crispy. And I made a second one for tomorrow. And then I did cut up some Brussels sprouts and one piece of bacon. And that's going to be my side. And these came out super crispy. Brussels sprouts can be so crap. But if you get them crispy, it's good, but it takes forever in the oven sometimes. So this took, I think, eight or nine minutes to get them to this point. And this chicken breast fully cooked in 25 minutes. So super simple. And you could, depending on how much food you have, you could do it at the same time technically. But I did two chicken breasts uh, separately and then did the Brussels sprouts on its own. So anyways, here's another uh, air fryer triumph. Good morning, just getting ready to head to the gym. As I mentioned, I've been trying to move more, so every day I try to either go for a walk, go for a run, or go to the actual gym and do, uh, I run inside on a treadmill, not run outside, but, uh, or go to the gym and do actual strength training. So I'm trying to find that balance of cardio and strength training, because I, in the past have kind of been one or the other uh, and cardio obviously is better for burning burning calories good for heart health all that kind of stuff and then strength training is what's actually going to shape your body along with of course make you stronger and healthier overall which is kind of the goal so i put a little bit of weight back on before a combination i would say before london uh, and the Rome trip and then the week or two before that I definitely went a little bit off the rails and I haven't seen the scale go up since I started losing weight it's only either kind of stayed the same or gone down so everybody is I know gonna be like oh the scale doesn't matter but it was a little bit jarring so it was a good uh, kick in the butt because it wasn't a matter of like oh I'm putting on weight because I'm working out or anything like that it was purely I would say like I can 50% um, put the blame on my consumption of Pringles prior to my trip and even on my trip I found a way to consume Pringles. So anyways gonna head to the gym with my personal trainer uh, Nams kind of barely um, And then I have an event and then I think we're actually the tables will turn and I'm gonna go out and help Nems film so uh, Yeah, that's kind of the plan for today show you my outfit as well um one of my favorite things about working out is i can justify buying new workout clothes because uh, i won't buy it until i actually start kind of regularly working out so these leggings are from fabletics i will do a review on them and talk about the 
customs and fit and are they see-through etc etc so stay tuned for that I bought it and then stopped working out so I've only started working out again recently these I got they're Pharrell Williams Adidas shoes I bought these at Brown's at the Eaton Center and then this shirt slash kind of bra I guess I got from Nordstrom Rack and I really love it kind of reminds me like more of Adidas in the sense that it's kind of stylized and fun but still athletic wear and these leggings are just so flattering like there's there's weight here don't be fooled but the fact that you can pull them up nice and high like a nice high legging with like kind of a lower sports bra is really uh really flattering for me so anyways this is and i and i love the pockets on uh on these fabletics so yeah and there's real there's the real say hi bb meow i love the tongue out meow that's one of my favorites this is one of mom's favorites. Oh, the chin. Get the chin. Get the chin. We just got in from shooting and I haven't eaten yet really. I had like half a protein shake and a nectarine and because I worked out this morning, I'm ravenous and it's like almost 40 degrees Celsius today with the Humidex, so I gotta eat something, I'm feeling uh, weak. So I have lettuce in here, spinach, tomato, cucumber, lots of pickle. It's the roasted chicken salad from Subway. Just I like to know what people get when they're trying to cut back and you're out uh, a salad is a great option but make sure if you load it up with like cheese and dressing you might as well just get a regular sub but I like to get the salad because it's low calorie and if you can like today I was coming home so I got no dressing no cheese and I'm using the Walden Farms Thousand Island I use this for my burgers all the time uh, I get this from Low Carb Canada or you can get it from Metro grocery store and I get a salad instead of an actual sub. I would get a sub. I'm not I'm not scared of bread, but I would rather have some salt and vinegar chips. So these are about 200 calories for the bag, 210. And then I would say the salad with no dressing, no cheese. Literally the only calories pretty much are the is the chicken. So I would say about 250, 300 calories ish. I need to look it up on their website. Depends on the vegetables you get, but the vegetables account for so little that the really only calories you need to be careful of are like cheese your meat and uh, your dressing. So anyways, this is my lunch and I'm going to chow down. If you are wondering, yes, I am still playing Sims. This is my uh, Sim Poppy and she had another kid named Gray. I got you guys to name her him on Instagram. And then her daughter, what was it, Gwendolyn, you also named her. Uh, she grew up and she's a teenager now. She did have Johnny move in, who is the baby daddy of Gwendolyn, but Gray has a different baby daddy. And then there's Bob. So I finally gave in and bought an expansion pack. Oh, whoopsie daisies. You get to see what I was watching on YouTube, mostly Sims. There's my video I was editing. Um, but I downloaded the, or I bought the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. I think the next one I'm gonna get is Get to Work. But I have little Bob here, who is a Sphinx cat, obviously. And uh, she, even though her name is Bob, just learned to not jump on counters after me telling her like a hundred times. If you've never played Sims, it's the best. If you have played Sims, but you haven't played it in years, like myself, I downloaded Origin. So if you don't feel like you're gonna have enough room on your computer, it's not like I almost bought like a physical CD. Like I forgot that my laptop doesn't even have that capability anymore. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I played it. But uh, I think it was like under ten dollars. So it's a good good deal. And I've been using it honestly as like a um, like a little Bob dare. I've been using it as a kind of a distraction so that if I'm feeling snacky, I'll just start playing Sims and it distracts me for probably way too long. So something to consider in your uh, if you're trying to lose weight and you want something to do. I, uh, I'm upset.
are in um, kind of a, I guess, a Korean part of town. Yeah. A little bit above Young and Shepherd. Finch Sawa Station. So we picked up, we had to send Korean fried chicken, kimchi fried rice, so good, and then like cheesy corn. It was amazing. Yeah, it is it. Yep. And then we passed by this little grocery store and we were wandering around. Why is it? Oh. And then I saw this ice cream, sweet corn ice cream sandwich, and I had to try it. And what did you get? Mango or something? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, Mango. whoa. Is that actual corn? Can you see? Can you eat that? It's an ice cream sandwich. Oh my god. Ice cream on the inside. Oh my god, I thought it was a real, that was a real corn. No! Doesn't that look like real corn? It did look like it. It's like a, oh, it doesn't. So it did, where, I couldn't why see Why is this it. not green? I don't know, man, I didn't see it. Anyways, what did you get? I don't uh, even think it tastes like, is it corn ice cream? It's a uh, mango, With it says chocolate. on the packaging, uh, Melona. Uh, mango frozen dessert. Wow, it's literally corn ice cream. I don't hate it. Oh God, no. Wanna throw up? No, no. I'll throw up. <laughs> Dramatic. Ew. <laughs> Blech. Mm. Pretty good. Corny, right? But kind of nice. I'm not mad at it. I kind of like this um, wafery outside to a sandwich. I like that. It's corn. Yeah. Let me know if you've ever had this sweet corn ice cream. It's probably popular in other places too. You could let me know as well. Um, I'll, <laughs> make sure to, I'll make sure to reply to all of your messages. There's something in here. Oh, is that actual corn? Look at that. So I was like, what am I chewing? Oh. Literal Jeez. corn. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I also bought some high chews. They're some of my favorite candy ever. You can get them like kind of readily available. I'd say they're probably the most popular candy. Get them in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. um, but I love them. So I got oh yeah the candy or the green apple. Mango is one of my faves. And then they have grape, which I used to love like grape gum. Hello, so uh, this is, feels really weird to be vlogging from this setup, but I have my camera set up and things keep changing. So this vlog has been all over the place and I've been sitting on this footage for weeks now, I guess. So I don't even know where to start because I still don't have a finish or a solution, but this video needs to go up. Like I'm just sick of sitting on this footage. So basically what has happened is about a couple weeks ago, I was told I could get the cat. Then the family was having a hard time deciding if they could actually give up the cat because they've had the cat for about six years, Emily. Um, so there's been a lot of crying and just like just a lot of a mess. So like I cried before I, when I was trying to decide if getting this cat was the right move. Then I cried when I found out I got her and I have this whole clip. I'll put it here of like me crying and being like, my dreams are coming true. I can't believe it. Um, then I cried a bunch when they were like, you know what, we don't know, we're gonna have to give it some time. So then I'm in this like horrible in-between of not knowing if I'm getting her and I've like totally got my heart set on her now. You know, I've literally never even met Emily, like I love her already. And then I was like, you know what, it's been weeks. I hadn't heard from the person. I was like, obviously this isn't meant to be. I don't want to, not that I didn't want to wait any longer, but just my heart couldn't take it. Just not knowing what was going on. And I wasn't getting any communication from the person. So I just kind of had assumed because I hadn't heard back. I'd messaged them a few times and I was like, you know, take your time, but I still kind of need to know this is going to affect my life for a very long time. And I take this very seriously. So I need to know like if there's any chance of this cat entering my home and you know, there was no communication. So I was like, you know what? Obviously they've decided to keep the cat and then I filmed this clip of me explaining that and saying <laughs> you know it's not meant to be and I love Rue and da 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 and then literally that same day I got a message saying okay she's yours and then I cried over that I don't have a clip from that. So anyways I don't know what's happening I think I'm getting her but at the same time and this is so contradictory for me to say this, to say that I put all this pressure on myself by putting it out on the internet and here I am still putting it out there. But it's like, you truly are a part of my life and I love to document my life as well for my own personal memory. And I guess I don't need to post it, but 
I, I've been talking about it for so long and getting so many questions and now I feel all this pressure of like introducing her into my household and what if it doesn't go well and then I have like thousands of people potentially being like what's going on with the cat not like that thousands of people are emailing me sorry thousands of people were messaging me about the cat but like thousands of people potentially watching like a vlog of me introducing the cat so then I just feel all of this pressure and um it's just been a lot on me just the cat situation alone and then the not knowing and then like adding pressure by youtube and i get so much support but at the same time like you never know who's going to come around and like talk smack so and it's just a very important and emotional thing for me that i've shared and i feel like i've kind of overshared and now i'm talking about oversharing and it's just like samantha you're the literal worst so <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't know what's happening. I might be getting a new cat. I might not be getting a new cat. Um, stay tuned, I guess, because I will. I will. You'll obviously find out at some point. But right now, um, this freaking vlog needs to go up because I've been sitting on this footage for a very long time, and I wanted to show you my air fryer and my exercising too. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been an interesting vlog but I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye